Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. In today's video, I was doing a painting of a rooster overlooking a rice field with the sun rising in the background. Sorry that the video keeps running out of focus as I was using a camera to shoot time-lapse photo and when the canvas is rather empty in the beginning, the camera has problem finding the focus. I was using a colored charcoal pencil for the sketch. When the sketch is done, I will roughly put in the first layer of color. The thing that's most daunting for me to paint in this painting is not the rooster, it's the rice field. I wasn't sure and wasn't confident of how the end result would render itself because it covers a rather big area in this painting and I was a little worried it might come out as a dirty patch of grass. Nevertheless, just keep painting, I suppose. The next day when the first layer was dried, I started on the painting from the far horizon, slowly making my way up to the sky, then only continue with the greeneries. I put in the different colors for the sky around the morning sun. After I done that, then only I would blend them together. A little more attention was given to the rays that emanating from the sun. I wanted the light from the sun to be very pronounced in this painting, to signify cheerfulness and hope and a bright day ahead. I extended the area where the cloud ends further to the right as it sat right above the rooster's head which made the painting very odd to look at. The greeneries at the far end, the area beneath the sun, I mixed more orange and yellow into the green so that it would have the illusion of the sun's light hitting the plants. Here I was laying in the water area in the rice field. To be honest, I wasn't sure how to go about this, whether to first paint in the greens or the water. It does not cover a big area, just bits of water here and there. So I decided to put in the whites first for the water, as a guide before I put in the green. For the initial layers, I pre-mixed three tones of green for the rice field, but I only used the two darkest tones for the first few layers. For these initial layers, the colors were mixed with two parts sensodor and one part linseed oil. So when I realized for these first few layers, I really don't need the lightest green, I ended up discarding that because the last layer I mixed the colors with a fatter medium, which was 50% sensodor and 50% linseed oil. For the eye, I would paint in the rims that's darker in color 
be it the rim around the eyeball or like on this rooster, there's another dark rim outside the eyeball. Then I filled in the colors next to it and blended them to get rid of harsh lines. In this case, I painted the line slightly thicker because after I blended the line with the colors next to it, the line would diminish somewhat. For the head, I painted in the darkest tone of red that I saw on my reference photo. It looks funny at this point, but after I painted the color next to it and blended them, okay. You can see the left hand side, there's a bit of green on the area that's supposed to be part of the rooster's head. I again forgot to be careful with red color area, because red is very transparent. Most of the time, another layer of the same red would not be enough to cover the green beneath. And for the feather, I started from the darkest one and also the ones on the lowest layer. I basically worked on one feather at a time to differentiate the darkest feathers. For some, I mixed a bit of blue, sometimes turquoise, into the black and a tiny bit of white. I really like how they look in the end, these bluish black feathers. So I used different tones of grey and some adding a bit of blue for the tail feathers, only using black for the innermost feathers. On some feathers, the halves that's facing down would be a bit darker because of the light source. It's important to have this differentiation for it to be more three-dimensional.
This was another day where I added a darker tone of red to make the shape more defined. For the part on the left where there's a little green that I had to cover, I mixed the red with a bit of white for that. First, because the area is highlighted because of the light source. Second, because white is not transparent, it would help cover this area more effectively. These brown color feathers were not finished yet at this point. I would wait for it to dry overnight and adding a bit more details onto it. When I added these two very thin brown feathers, the black feathers had already mostly dried. I would not add these two brown feathers when the one beneath is still wet. That would make it much much harder to work with. The wet paint would be pushed over with the new brush strokes and it would have an unnatural look of colors pooling. And since this kind of painting usually take me 3-4 days up to a week, I would plan ahead which area to paint to maximize the time of working. So here I went in with the darkest from my three tones of green, then adding the mid-tone to fill in the spaces. For the area closest to view after the darkest green, I went in with the dark brown for the soil first, 
before filling the spaces with the mid-tone green. Here was, I think, the third time I amended the feet, as I found that they don't look proportionate to the size of the rooster's head. Ideally, I should complete the background, which is the rice field first, before I paint the rooster. I thought I would need another layer of colour on the rooster after I completed the rice field, but then it looked good as it is after the second layer and I didn't need to add anything further. Hence, now I had to be careful when painting the rice field not to overlap over the rooster. Here was the final details for the rice field. The lighter screen would make the rice field look so much more realistic. Again, ideally, I should complete the wood first before painting the rooster's feet. But sometimes things just don't go as planned. But I could manage, just be a bit more careful around the rooster's feet. The last bit where I added the rays of the sun, making sure the greens were mostly dried in order for me to paint the rays this way, else the painting would be ruined. And that's the painting. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye bye.